Texas says he's in such demand that he needs to train other ministers to help lighten his workload. But the faint of heart certainly need not apply. As one of Australia's only practising exorcists, John Gill has seen some things. One person, I said, I want a, I want a verbal sign of your departure. And their head flipped back, their mouth opened, and a scream. Ah! And this person said they felt like a hand was reached down their throat and ripped this thing out. They're not quite as bad as the movies make out. Oh, they're not oh, movies. Oh, thank you, brother. But there are some similarities. And yes, we do use that line from the right. The power of Christ compels you. In other words, it gives you no choice. You must leave. John's tools of the trade, holy water, a purple stole, a crucifix, and a centuries-old prayer. Be reminded of that day where Jesus brought you low and begone your satanic powers. And it's all at no cost. See, that would be saying Jesus charges to love you, whereas this is free. The Reverend travels all over the country and is hoping to train other ministers to help share an increasing load. He's hosting a seminar on the Gold Coast next week to try to spread the word. Australia is a hotbed. It really is. I think if you ask anyone, even the richest person, the happiest person, this world of suffering is hell in its soul. He says he can sense when people may be possessed. So I had to ask, what do you sense within me? You can buy it. It's just, you don't go looking for it either, you know. If it's, if it's there, it'll pop its head up. I don't care if you think I'm a kook. Uh, I didn't believe in it either. Um, but I'm not out there to hurt people. I'm not a charlatan. I'm there to help. Amen to that. Joe Hill for 10 News First. Okay.